What is assembly language? Assembly language is a low level language. This means that we code close to the hardware and have direct control over the hardware. For instance, you can specify exactly where you want to store a value in memory. Assembly language uses mnemonics to represent machine code instructions. This makes it much easier to remember the operators than the binary equivalent. An assembler is used to translate the assembly language code into machine code that then the computer is able to interpret. There's a one-to-one -one correspondence between assembly language instructions and machine code instructions. And every processor architecture will have its own assembly language. So this means that if you write in assembly language for one processor, you can't port it to another processor. You'll have to write the program again. We're going to be writing our assembly language code in the Armlight online simulator. This can be accessed at the web address that's, that's given here at the top. Now, there are quite a few components, as you can see on the web page. But I'm just going to take you through some of these to start with. So on the left hand side here, where it says uh, program at the top of the box, this is where you write your assembly language code. The other component is memory. So this simulates random access memory, so it simulates our RAM. At the moment, in each of our memory locations, our values are set to zero. Each memory location consists of 32 bits, so we have four byte word lengths. This means that when we try to access our memory locations, we access them in, in um, groups of four. So we start here at zero, next one is four, next one is eight, and then 12, 16, 20, and so on. You can also display them in different ways. Currently, they're displayed in hex values, so we can display them as binary values if we wish to. And you can see what happens there, it kind of goes off the, the side of the page. So it's probably best, and the way I prefer, the one I prefer is to display them as signed decimal values. And the third component I want to talk about are the registers here. So we'll be using lots of these, going from the general purpose registers, going from R0 through to R12.